Hello, boys and girls. Lavinia Sprig here with Chapter 11 of Amelia Petelia Goes Wild. Want to go wild with me for a minute? Go wild. Okay, that's kind of fun, huh? Well, the Chapter 11 is entitled a sheep in sheep's clothing. Hmm. Did I show you the contraption that Amelia Bedelia and her friend made? And the monkey sat down in the seat and took the banana. Remember? Okay. Well, let's get into chapter 11. Finally, it was Friday. Today, the last day before the zoo was officially to open. Everyone in Amelia Bedelia's class came to her house after school to make sure that the zoo would be ready. Pat and Amelia Bedelia went straight to the garage to work on the contraption. They tested a couple of times. It took Three seconds after the treat was grabbed for the inflatable tube to fall into place. All that was missing was a banana and a monkey. Rose's mother stopped by with cupcakes for everyone and three mini trampolines. Amelia, Bedelia, and Rose decided to set them up in a line one right after the other. Rose hopped on. Boing, boing, boing. I'm a kangaroo, she hollered. Then everyone had to try it. The trampolines were the perfect addition to the Be an Animal exhibit. The whole class worked together on the final exhibit signs of animals. There was a section of a tree trunk with claw marks made from clay. Hmm. It looked exactly like a bear had been there. Penny used more clay on another tree to make it look like a beaver had gnawed the wood. And Nate used a dark brown marker to create fake holes a wood per a woodpecker used for searching for bugs that night amelia bedelia's family sat down to a special dinner of grilled lamb chops i'll show you the pictures before i read that last sentence because i have to turn the page okay her father had been talking about dinner non-stop since he came back from work. At last, the table was set, the candles were lit, and dinner was served. Hmm, he said. Bah. Amelia Bedelia's father looked at Amelia Bedelia's mother, who looked at Amelia Bedelia who tried to look like nothing had happened. Amelia Bedelia's father shrugged and popped a bite of lamb into his mouth. Bah! Amelia Bedelia's dad stopped chewing. Sweetheart, he said, either this is the freshest lamb you've ever made or there is a sheep right outside the window. They both looked at Amelia Bedelia. You look sheepish, said her mother. Sheepish, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm not a sheep. What sheep? Oh, my goodness. There. I went to go into. Her parents jumped up and ran outside with Amelia Bedelia close behind them. The sun was setting, songbirds were chirping, and a sheep 
was grazing on the grass. This peaceful scene lasted less than a second. Okay, young lady, said her mother. Out with it. What's the sheep doing in our yard? Um, eating supper, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's mother put her hands on her hips, her eyes narrowing to slits. Ah, there is a little tiny picture down there. You see the sheep. Amelia Bedelia's father gazed up at the heavens as he slowly shook his head. Amelia Bedelia realized that she had run out of luck. It was time for the truth. You know Wade, right? Well, Wade's uncle Fred has a farm. She explained. It's the other side. He, he grows vegetables and he has animals like chickens and pigs and sheep and cows. When he came to town today for the farmer's market, he dropped off a spare sheep. Sweetie, said Amelia Petelia's mother, I don't recall giving you permission to have a sheep. But my zoo opens tomorrow, said Amelia Bedelia. Uncle Fred will stop by afterward and pick it up. Look, said her father, your ideas are super, but you've gone wild. You're making me nuts with these animals. Are you trying to get my goat? Goat? asked Amelia Bedelia. If I knew you had a goat, I wouldn't have gotten a sheep. Amelia Bedelia's mother clapped her hand over her mouth and snorted. Amelia Bedelia, she said, trying not to laugh. You don't have any more animals up your sleeve, do you? See for yourselves, said Amelia Bedelia, rolling up both of her sleeves. Empty. Now her father was trying not to laugh, but he managed to say, No more surprise animals, young lady. In his firmest, I'm not really, I'm really not kidding this time voice. Cross my heart, said Amelia Bedelia, tracing a giant X on her chest. Luckily, the sheep was wearing a collar. Amelia Bedelia's father tied a rope to the collar and led the sheep to a spot where it would have plenty of grass but couldn't reach any of her mother's flower beds. I need to attach the rope to something, he said. He said, any ideas? How about a stake? asked Amelia Bedelia's mother. Dad doesn't need a stake, said Amelia Bedelia. He's got a plate full of lamb chops waiting for him. Oh, she got her words confused again. What steak was she thinking of? Yes, the steak that you eat. And what the father needed was a steak, but the straight kind that are made out of wood or metal. So she gets a little confused sometimes. Her parents looked at her and then at each other and then back at the sheep. <laughs> Here's an idea, said Amelia. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's an idea, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Let's put those lamb chops in the fridge. I vote, we all go out for pizza. All in favor? Say ba, ba, said Amelia Bedelia. Ba, said her mother. Ba, said the sheep. It's unanimous, said her father. Hey, mom and dad, a 
Amelia Bedelia said from the back seat as they pulled out of the driveway. When we get back home, we might need to call and cancel the cow. Now, she was the one who couldn't keep a straight face. She burst into laughing, and her parents did too. And they laughed all the way to the perfect pizza parlor. Well, boys and girls, I have to stop at this chapter. And next time, we will read chapters 12 and 13. How about that? That'll be fun. Well, I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are having fun. And we'll see you next time. Okay? Don't go too wild now. Bye-bye.